Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Yanis here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome to another video for our live trading room results. Today uh, I have chosen four pairs and we will go and check and see what happened. In general the week was into retracement, not many opportunities, but as always we had the chance to make some money out of it. On gold, we saw price already retracing from a couple of weeks ago. And of course, what happened is we were waiting. We wanted to go long, but also we were waiting for a little bit more safer, let's say in quotes, uh, entry. We were waiting the 36 EMA to break. And this is exactly what happened. And as always, we had to wait for our retracement here on an M12 uh, chart, we see that price retraced a little bit funny, kind of a small range here. So we had some opportunities with this one, two, three, or even with this one, depending uh, which one you took, or even this one, which is as always with a higher high than these small, funny looking retracements. So you can see uh, if you took the entry. We had like 50 pips of an EPO, price reads 280 now, almost 300 pips. And if you are in, you had a higher settings retracement, even on M4 on M48, that it's even uh, bigger as a confirmation. But on our entry here, uh, we had with the 50 pips of APO. 290 like four times and still going and we are going always remember for the big picture and this in this case it's next potential resistance on euro new zealand dollar we had a pending order that in lower settings that didn't get activated but priced after we saw price retracing all the way down to the 36 ema and with our really nice combination, what I mean here, bound, trend line break, crossovers big, one, two, three, we kept our pending orders. We trailed it a little bit lower in M48. Lower risk, of course, why not? And again, like 50 pips already, 150, 160. Remember, if you don't have the time, you could trade on much more higher settings the combination remains the same. What you could do, of course, is lower, lower the risk, much more higher settings. I understand that the APO will be much more higher. That means we can have a much more lower risk. Always remember that combination. Also on GPP Aussie, we had here <coughs> Let me show you. Okay. On higher settings, we had a bounce on a major resistance area and price then created a lower high. This is it. You see the bounce and lower high. And on lower settings, <coughs> sorry for that. So we saw uh, the bounce, the lower high, and then price uh, started to retrace. We had the chance, of course, to go short with an M6 entry against the main trend, lower risk. And our entry was like 25 pips all the way down to our support area, 140, 150 pips. Of course, it wasn't only that. Uh, remember, incremental profits uh, also on our last position. So five times our APO only in this trade. And last, I think it's the first time we mention it, we are talking about NASDAQ. You already know that these kind of indexes uh, are really, really fast. And again, at higher settings, you can see price has been going long for some time. We had also a big retracement here, 
price decided not to continue short and you already know that price was really really volatile and focused on M12 you could see that retracements almost till 36 CMA or till 36 CMA was on M12 so we had to focus on these settings and again uh, our opportunity around this level like again 40 uh, 50 pips price now has broken my resistance area is already one uh, 470 plus pips and you still continue the downside is that this is the highest ever so you could trail your APO below your uh, resistance area with these four trades we had a thousand pips actually it was 1060 and uh, in APO let's say uh, 21 times more than 20 times the risk that we set for this week I think that was pretty good thank you very much have a beautiful weekend and see you again Monday morning as always with our top-down approach Thank you very much, everybody. Stay safe. Bye-bye.